In this video, we will install PyGeo API from its GitHub repository. This can become particularly handy if you want to make any changes or edit the configuration and then expose your PyGeo API. To do that, we will have to be sure that we are running Python 3. I will simply check that on my computer by running Python 3 and this will give me a surety that I am on 3.11.5. Now to clone the repository, we need a folder where all of these things will happen. So I will simply go to my desktop and create a new folder known as PyGeo API dev and I will go inside this folder. Now remember that PyGeo API is a Python implementation. That means there will be bunch of libraries that we need to install in order to make PyGeo API workable. To do that, we have to be sure that we are running some sort of virtual environment. I am using VENV, but you can use something else such as Anaconda. I will simply create a new environment with the name ENV and I will activate it by doing source ENV bin activate. If you are on Windows, the commands might be different. Now that my environment is up and running, next thing is cloning the repository. We will be cloning the master branch and that way we will be sure that we are getting the latest code. Alright, once the cloning is done, you can see that now we have our environment folder and PyGeo API folder itself. If I go inside PyGeo API folder, you will see multiple folders and files available. At this point of time, we have to be sure that all the dependency packages that we have for PyGeo API are installed and all of those are listed in this requirements.txt file. So we will simply install everything by running command pip install dash r requirements.txt. This will make sure that all the dependencies are installed. Once that is done, we will now create our PyGeo API package. Remember, PyGeo API is ultimately a Python package, so we need to create it. Either we can create it locally or we can simply do pip install PyGeo API. In our case, we have created it locally and now the next part is to make the configuration. To do that, I will simply open the PyGeo API folder in my VS code. And here you will see all the folders and files available. By default, PyGeo API comes with the configuration.yaml file. Here you can make all the changes that you need and when you will serve the PyGeo API server, all these changes will be reflected over there. As a general rule of thumb, we will not touch this file, but we will simply create a copy of this file and make whatever changes that we want in that file. You can create a copy by simply following this command cp config.yaml example config.yaml which means copy this file and rename it to example config.yaml and we can do the same thing on our VS code as well. And we have our example config.yaml file available. Now we have to set up some variables which will be used in a open API generate command. So I will simply copy this and you have to be sure that the PyGeo API config variable is set with the name of the YAML file that you want to use to generate the document. So I will simply copy this for now and I will paste it over here. And now we can generate our open API documentation by executing PyGeo API open API generate document. Here we are giving the configuration YAML file path and then the output configuration file path. Now this might take time depending upon the configuration that you have and it might also fail depending upon if you have made any mistakes in your YAML file. If you have not touched the file, chances are pretty high that it will execute successfully and it's time to go live. To start the server, you can simply execute PyGeo API serve and it will work. Now if you are on Mac, you might face this difficulty that port 5000 is assigned to something else which is used internally by Mac. If you are on Windows or Linux, you will be able to execute this command successfully and if you go to your browser and search for localhost 5000, you will see your local instance of PyGeo API up and running. If you are not able to get that up and running, 
you can simply go to your con example config yaml file and make change in the port at ports and also at the url so we can go with something like 5001 and once that is done you will again need to generate your open api document and you can serve the pygeo api and now you can see that it's running on port 5001 all right now if i refresh obviously this will fail but if i go to 5001 it will start working so this is how you can get your pygeo api local instance up and running by cloning repository from github thank you